Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're good. It's another scorching day in Bali. You probably can't see. Uh, today's weight is 102.7, so I have gone up in weight, but considering what I did last night, uh, I'm not too concerned, okay? I know I said I wouldn't, but I went back to the all-you-can-eat steakhouse. I had about a kilogram, maybe 1.2 kilograms of steak. I didn't have any rice. I didn't have any... Uh, other carbs apart from the pineapple didn't, didn't certainly didn't have any desserts so that was a success now I know I said I wouldn't go back to the barbecue place whilst I was doing this challenge but I thought about it and honestly it would just be too easy if I stopped going there and I stopped eating out and if I was to just live like a monk and be super super strict with my diet sure I'd be able to do this very easily but most people I just don't want to do that and it'd be just quite boring like I would say it's far more impressive to be able to be in really good shape and still eat the foods that you want to eat because at the end of the day right why do we get in shape most of us want to get in shape to like improve the quality of our life but if the sacrifice that we have to make to get in shape is to give up all our favorite foods then you know is it really an overall improvement at the end of the day so I'm not giving up my favorite foods. I'm not giving up barbecue, um, but the goal still remains the same. Now today, the plan is back. Like my body is pretty sore. Uh, it's Friday, obviously I've trained all week. Um, so yeah, gonna hit a back session. And like I go out, there's down. Ooh, in down. here. Down, more down. More down? Yes, out and away with the stretch. Even the legs five, stretch it, stretch it. Oh, what do you do? Push more legs, Push standard more legs. netting split. Yeah. All the netties, or now they say also like upper lower, upper lower. They done that stuff is also kind of new. Like maybe since past two years or something, all yeah, yeah. natural bodybuilders say they try upper lower. I like push, like push, legs, push yeah. Clients is always good. Yeah, you just put it on a rotation. Especially in the beginning when you don't have the, you can't do, an hour of shoulders yet so it's like yeah. okay mix it up a little bit of shoulders never done that like all he told me if you're going in squeeze the last step and then press it down it's like more yeah, like yeah. in this sure. second like yeah stretch and like <laughs> never done that usually you use the hands and the in the pull down you just hold it i hold it in the same position like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and just bring it up yeah. bring it in take the weight from here yeah, walk it back, walk it back. it's like Going on the kite surfing. Yeah, kite surfing yeah, stuff. In the legs back there. Just, yeah. just support it. Yeah. So oh. get a full stretch. Oh, full stretch? Full stretch, squeeze it in. Control. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, baby, this is an exercise. Contraction in the big back. Oh, more? Okay. Squeeze in. Pull the elbows. Pull the elbows and slow it up. Extensions first. You do that exercise often? This one? Yeah. Never. Never. Same. Same. Like, I tried it when it, when it, when it blew up on the Instagram or somewhere. Yeah. It's hard. I tried it. Yeah. But then you just to set up the two minute setup all the time. Yeah. The last time I did these two exercises was when me and him used to train together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like fucking years ago at this point. Notice how he lets the shoulders come right all the way up. Yeah, full range of motion. Full stretch, full contraction on every muscle. So lock out, shoulders left out. The shoulders come up to the ears, full stretch on the back. Keep the legs engaged, don't go limp. And squeeze it through the elbows. Smooth, less of a jerk. Stretch and squeeze it. Ah, no control. Not too fast? Not too fast. Get fast but smooth. Yeah. Oh. Something like the breeze. Uh, so we need to be 105 kg like James. Yeah. Walks it back like it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I want bigger forearms to be fair. Yeah. I can never be bothered to train them directly though. Yeah, you never? No. Nah. Me either. Never. You have some genetics in there, you got lucky. Like my form's not too bad, but not too good. Yeah. My genetics plays the game. 
I have a friend who never trained, or he comes to the gym with two real coronas in him, never trained, goes on the bench, do 100 kilograms without yeah. doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. There's a good idea, yeah. Some people just touch your weight and they fucking grow up on that, right? Yeah. They're just watching the way that I like, oh, you check. The brand, what she's wearing, do you know the brand? This is like, this, the, the girl, like the girl, Seville, yeah. this brand, German brand, and like any girl, any ass, you looks make good. it nice, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Like this is crazy, you it's put fucking. that on, this leg and stuff, and it's like your ass, it's like, whoo. fake marketing. It's like a peach, always, you want to bite in there. But you know, that's why I'm, you, she's definitely German, or she's definitely Dutch or something. I think they only sell that in there. Okay. Now you see it in person. I see. So don't get red. Oh, I don't. On that girls. Thinking, so, uh, oh, she's so hard. Mm -hmm. I'm good at spying them. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, watermelon, free workout. Mm -hmm. That's it, watermelon and salt. At the moment, I just have two meals, so two and six. That's it. Two small meals. Or if I do like barbecue, I just do one big meal. The place that near me, 200k. <laughs> all you can eat. Yeah, yeah, it's much cheaper. Like any, like if you go and buy your stuff in Tokyo for a seat, you already like 200k. I couldn't. The couldn't. amount that I eat, I wouldn't even be able to fucking. Yeah. Farm the animals myself for that price. <laughs> so now we're rolling like that. So yeah, we don't sit in. Post off with our hand. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing, full stretch. Set it all the way forward, but keeping your back strong. Squeeze it in, elbow. Keep the elbow close to the body. And then stretch. Full stretch. Nice. On the stretch, the first bit slower. Slow, and then once you get past that, there, and you can go fast. And now we go fast. Yeah. Mm. I usually never do one-handed exercise. I don't know because of the time, or I yeah, people but say that. Get down with the one side. If you're training on your own, it doesn't take any longer because one side's working, one side's resting. You just go. Ah, you just go, go no break. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take like 10, 20 seconds, depending how far you go. Squeeze. Squeeze it in. Is it elbow? Come on, man. Oh. You start trying. Oh. 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 How are you getting so fucked up with isolating exercise? Pretty much hope your back work out. I try and have one unilateral. Yeah. Same with arms as well. Yeah. I train arms because you're going to have one side which is a bit stronger than the other. It's always the case. One side is always stronger than the other. Yeah, I like this row, row machine, like unilateral, like just hold yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it goes right. Like, yeah. But I would say, like, it's usually, yeah, maybe the chest a little bit, a little more yeah. upper chest. That's I only train upper. I don't even train shoulders. Yeah. You don't use that. Yeah, shoulders. Yeah, shoulders and neck. Did you do neck? No, neck is crazy. Traps. Just don't do them. This is fucking nuts. crazy. So yeah, big, bigger buys, definitely. Bigger carbs. Yeah, I go with the carbs. Carbs is number one. Yeah. And I would say chest. Yeah. And I would say arms. So the three things I need to work on. Yeah, that's tough. I don't care about hamstrings. You don't care? Nah. No. It's like my focus last year was trying to add one inch to my seat to <laughs> hamstring fitness. And then we started doing fucking high rocks and running. It's kind of fast forward half high rocks. No. Now they do nothing. It's like, what goal do you have? Like, if you want to look big, look well, nice, you go boxing, I can do one round of pads, I'm done. No yeah. stamina. Like, every pound, every kilogram, yeah. You feel it. Like first, first four, four or five months when I was here last time, I went down 85, 85 kg. We could spar, we could do nice stuff. Then I eat two kilograms more. Power is gone. 
So every weight session undoes three functional fitness sessions. Yeah. You're like a week of body, but I didn't go to boxing. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. go to high rocks, fucking can't run. Everything's yeah. too heavy. Legs get pumped. Just try and keep, keep light. Yeah, you just got to do mix and match, right? Yeah. I mean, you're never, never going to be the best at anything if you no. everything's, everything gets two days a week. Yeah. Then like yeah. three days of boxing, two days of high rocks, one long run, yeah. weights whenever it fits in. And then just sort of be. It depends. Like, do you just want to be the best at one thing, or do you want to be well rounded? Yeah, exactly. It just keeps it fun. When you've got options, like, if you trying to always just get stronger and you wake up and you've got no energy, you go to the gym and you lift and you don't hit your normal numbers and then you're pissed off. Yeah, yeah. So you wake up and feel like that, go for a run. Yeah, uh, well, almost good. Still get a little endorphin high from yeah. the exercise. So I'm just always like, ah. I'm cutting, guess, I'm cutting and I'm getting weaker and weaker. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm not even losing fat, I'm just getting skinny and weak. Especially coming to the same gym like six times a week and all you do is weights, it gets yeah. it gets tedious fast. You know? If you've got a couple of different gym memberships and yeah, different even, social even that helps. Social like, yeah. Yeah, like, even just doing the same drive. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to take it easy in boxing this morning, but we've got good pad holders back to back. 900 calories per one hour. Every session I say, I'm not going to train to failure. I'm going to take it easy. I've, I've never done that. <laughs> so what do you think, like, they say on site base that you like, if you do three sets, you shouldn't go to failure the first two sets, but one set you can just go to failure. And otherwise, I would say, I would go always to failure. My preferred way is three sets, all to failure, and I drop the weight temp roughly 10% each set. Oh. But every set is like as many reps as possible, ideally 12 to 15. That's kind of much. Like, in, like isolation exercise, I would go for like 12, 15, something like that, but like, do hypertrophy like eight reps? Honestly, uh, I do many reps. Yeah. yeah. Never done that much. Never. Yeah. So, so, so I look like shit. Muscular endurance shit. When you're boxing, your hands are your fucking <laughs> under your chest after two rounds. I'm doing 500 shoulder raises. I think a lot of people can't do high reps because they can't hold the focus for that long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you need to you need to mentally focus for longer. So you do a set of twenty, then you do a set of eight. How many reps? How many reps? How many reps? I don't count. I go to pay you. Huh? <laughs> Wasn't that enough? My reps, like you, do, like they always doesn't matter the the reps. It only matters the last two reps. This counts. Yeah. Which which, when, when which, which, which number of reps were those? You don't know because you didn't count. But they lost it was hard. Going to failure, data. I'm done. Data makes champions. I, exactly. <laughs> I only go for data-driven decisions. I'm totally on that. If you never track, you never know what's happening. It's like, it's always like, if you're gonna change the future, you, want, you need to know what's happening right now. Yeah. And if you don't have any data, you can't change anything because you don't even know what you're fucking doing. So this is all you can eat place near me. I'm just tempted yeah. to just do a bulk instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the bigger numbers trying to cut the last time you tried to pop. Yeah, yeah. Like 105 trying to lose weight. Yeah, like look, the heaviest I've ever been is 109. And it, it like it was, uh, the last nine kg was like pretty hard. Now I'm 105 and I'm trying to fucking lose weight. <laughs> you want to lose weight? That's crazy. Like protein season in Bali is like the best you can ever have, I guess. Just the food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all you can eat place is every single day. Yeah. Smash yourself. Also, this meal prep company, it works out at 100k per meal. The meals are good as well. Yeah. The meals are good. But how many calories? Like 600 calories, 50 grams of protein. So you can have a few of them and then do all you can eat. <laughs> I've already thought about it. I'd have eggs in the morning, first yeah. meal, and then two of them, and then go there, 
120, easy. <laughs> easy. Easy. Stop you? Yeah. Let's this, none of this. This is what matters. Now we start. Oh. Oh. I need bison in my my system. The bison meat is the yes. it's the key to success. It is. Oh. And buffalo, man. Buffalo. Bison and buffalo. This is like I like I'm really like a cowboy Indian Native American hyper. Like I love that stuff. That was my brain was that when I was younger. So I need bison. Buffalo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go. Oh. Trying to, trying to hit a very smooth muscle. Ah, yeah, the other was like, ah, okay, that's what. Yeah, it's better if you got your arm slightly bent. Like that, like that. Yeah. That's why, my, usually, that's why when I first said I was wrong because I was done that. And usually I look on my hand and get it all the way so I have 90 degrees. But like the elbow is just wood metal, yeah. It's the same like when you yeah. do side delts. Same with the row. When you're doing a row, yeah. right? It's, it's the elbow, bringing the elbow. Yeah. Yeah. It's just only the one with your elbow. I said a, a nice cue when so you're trying to teach someone how to hit the rear delts. It's like, imagine you have a band in your hand and you just try and stretch the back. Yeah. So it's like when you're doing the dumbbells, people go like that, snaps, fucking everything. So you just think about getting your hands as far away from each other as possible, and the rear delts just it. naturally does it. So it's like, run up like that. And then like, oh, yeah. I'm like, it's like, oh, I'll give you the 20s for rear delt fives. Like, I'll give you the fives. You do it this way. It's fucking all weird out. Like that, you bending? Yeah, yeah. That's why you bet like you were you were doing like that, yeah. and I was just having my arms like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then I need to go like that. No? No. no. Why? Well if you if, like we can see we can see this working right now. Oh, yeah. So now go back. Yeah, just getting through yeah. that. Yeah. Come back. You want it here. Yeah, like so that. I stopped like here already. Yeah, yeah. Like getting the hands away from each other. Yeah. Yeah. Such a short, small muscle. Yeah. Short range of motion as well. Like, you know, yeah. Like but it adds so much to your profile. You don't have it. So I train like four times a week. I'm kind of just trying, to, just trying to hold a cable for one of the clients in the gym. I'll just be on it doing rear delts. Yeah, maybe I should do them more. Mm. 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 Hey, you know, smash your face into this yeah. or there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you come out a little flat nose. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that more. Lower back. I always my back is fucked. This is gonna be one of the most underrated exercises ever. Ever? Yeah. Every time you finish. Ooh. For me, as soon as I finish the set, my head's fucking <laughs> see stars. Stars is what we want. Show me the stars. Oh, my lower back is so cracked. Yeah, fully rounded, like fully. What is that word? Yeah. Also, when rounded you. Rounded back. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Super stretched. Way better. It's like yeah, yeah. stretched and then open again. Yeah, but otherwise I, it's more your fucking glutes. Yeah. I didn't ask James how much how much mobility is he doing? How much mobility he was doing? Zero. We, Zero? We met in, in, a, still a, lift. in a splits class. Crazy. <laughs> Look at me. Do I need mobility? <laughs> <laughs> Flexibility. The ability flex. to flex. Yeah. <laughs> like but I couldn't like 
three years ago, I like my back, like now, just trashed and I couldn't move anymore. Like normal, everything yeah. hurts so much. And my mother, she was like yoga, doing yoga and stuff. She said, do yoga, you need to stretch. And then since then I've done that. And every oh, time I do Oh, I know what we should do. You want to do a yoga class? No. Yeah, we do a super hard yoga class together. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I was last time here in Nevada, six months, every day yoga smashing. No, we do a private. Private yoga smash class. We'll make it really hard, like advanced yoga class. Are you just fucking kidding me, or are you just? Uh, it'd just be funny because we're so bad at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should do that. I would be on for that. Did you done high rocks? Yeah. Are you trying that? Is that yeah. You, Who's I loving it? I used to love that. <laughs> yeah, I was loving it. And then like everyone else who gets into high rocks, got too excited too fast. He did a fucking big run, then he trained legs, then he came back to high rocks, and then his shin splints. Came out, did 15K, sub five minutes. No training, no proper super shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds like James, yeah, definitely. If your shoes didn't cost $300, you can't run in them anymore. <laughs> You know the technology that goes into the foam in these running shoes? Some of them they got like a hundred, hundred mile limit on them. <laughs> I use my running shoes for walking. Yeah. But they got is. fucked last night. I ended up having to run home in the rain. Yeah. But the flood the and it was it was it was quite nice running home. But the roads were fucked. Yeah. Like up to here. Yeah. As long as I'm not going somewhere, the rain doesn't bother me. Yeah. It's like going to work or going to do a, a class or training in the rain is annoying. Driving home in the rain doesn't bother me at all. It's nice. It's like a little cool down. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Now back foot and front foot yeah. over. So I like running back to ice cold lemon water everywhere. That's true. Yeah, I really like. Uh, I enjoy Body Factory as well. I like this, it's it's a good good place. Definitely. Yeah. Then you got a good a good pool there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's always nice just to have multiple gyms. And it's not hard to do here. Like two, two kilometers radius, 10 gyms. Yeah. What the drop in here? Eight euros? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. What's the monthly? 1.3. Ah, 1.3, uh, okay. I think. So yeah. it's like 65 pound a month. Yeah. Alpha gym is 1.5. Without classes, classes just only 200k more, and you have like every single day 10 classes, 10 euros extra for unlimited classes, whole months. Like it's ridiculous, and it's it's PT. Like there's nobody in the classes. It's crazy. Psh, nobody. Please don't tell us. <laughs> don't tell everyone. Everyone will be there. Yeah. Not this month. Next month you can come all, but not in the November. And in December. Deep squat's good for the lower back as well. Yeah. As long as it's not too heavy. No, I mean just like this. Just sitting into it. Yeah. Feel the stretch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's crazy. It's nice. Go it up. Yeah, I my, my I I didn't done my normal stretching routine anymore. Because I done a bunch of stuff like that here. Open up. Mm. Oh yeah, cracking my back. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Is that your morning routine? Ah, <laughs> uh, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Shots too tight. <laughs> <laughs>
And like all these girls like they're doing splits, easy front splits, side splits, and I'm like doing six months standing in there and I don't get it and they say, Oh, what's wrong with you? So when I'm training with a, a group of people, it's it's different style of workout, you know? Yeah. It just forces me to have more rest. Exactly. Exercises, other people just bring different exercises. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same thing going to a new gym. Yeah. You go to a new gym and your whole program has to change because not everyone's going to have yeah. what you want and just get versatile. Apart from me, because I just set everything up on the cable machine. <laughs> so as long as there's a bench and a cable, I get to do what I want. Yeah, I'm James. I'm six foot two, 105 kilos of pure muscle, chiseled jawline. <laughs> Let me tell you, five foot two, fat, acne, how to get girls. You say hello. Yeah, you say hi. <laughs> hi with a smile. Hi with, hi, with a, hi with a smile I'll take you so far. Two yeah, years ago, but I was like, I also like, hello, I will, if you take the name, I just, if you hold your hands and I yeah, watch yeah. straight in their eyes, yeah. three seconds, yeah. nobody does that. And there's a, it's creepy. No, that is like you're confident. Usually, like all the people, they're just saying something, hello, ha, huh, and watch somebody else because they're not confident. Yeah. So I just be confident watching their eyes, I don't it's care. It's ridiculous how uncomfortable people get these days with eye contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three seconds yeah. and it's like... It's it, like here, but it's it's too easy because it's it's exactly the girls who come in here just looking for people who are jacked up, tattoos, and looking good. <laughs> and like if you are that kind of person, it's it's pretty easy Real to get around. Like every time it's, it's the same, it's the same mindset here. They have the same... Like if you come to Germany, my friend, you, you met him, the small little rock guy, like my, like my best German friend. He looks like Little The Rock, you know Little The Rock. Yeah, you yeah. know The Rock. Yeah, yeah. So and he's like just in, in, in super short. Yeah. And he went on holiday now in Dubai with another girl, just a girl who never trained. And he just said, Let, let's hook up with something. And she said, just put your t-shirt off. And he's like jacked up, look too big. Say, no, I, can, I, I really can't fuck you. I just, you have too much muscle. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? I get me, I get me like a, a box of beers, sitting in my garage and drinking that, okay? That, that would be fine, yeah, that would be much better. This is what the normal people look looking like. That's what they want, like, just crazy. I think mean, there's a certain amount of pressure. If you look too good, they think that you want them to look like a fucking bikini. Well, you make them feel bad, right? Yeah. Especially like, when you're yeah, but fucking they... shredded, and they're like, a little bit soft. Yeah. They feel yeah. self-conscious. End up food shaming them and then going to the gym three times instead of hanging out with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you can't get laid in Changu, you're fucked. You're, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You piece of shit. <laughs> just, just leave the car. Get out of here. Just give up. Give up. Yeah. <laughs> like if you if you don't let them live there. But this is not the game. Usually it's not. But it's it's an easy game here. It's like much more chill the, the but this guy the less you think the better you do exactly exactly that's Just why i never in the moment exactly that's why i never think anymore yeah. but there's like sometimes like if it's like normal woman like they looking good but they're not like catching me that one but sometimes you got like one it's like super your taste and yeah. it's like Fuck. She's fucking. She is uh, ten out of ten now. Now I need to perform, yeah, and yeah. that's why you fuck up. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you yeah, think yeah, about too much. You think about yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, get yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. And usually, like the, the normal girls, where like I just like them, they're just looking good. But I never think about it because I, I don't think I don't want them or something. So I care. just I don't care. And if I don't care, it's like ten out of ten. Like the game is so easy because I just and it pops up the word and it's perfect match. But if you're like thinking, ah, then it gets a little bit, ah. That's why if you go somewhere and you can't speak, vodka, Russian water is your friend, then you will speak like a goat. <laughs> and my hands are the worst. <laughs> That's why I always put the volume like that I can use to it and I can train every single day. Because there was like a German bodybuilder, like a Roman Fritz. I don't know if you ever heard about that guy. He was also training every single day. And I just wrote him an instant message maybe five years ago. Can you train Natty? Can you, can you train every single day? He said, yeah, you can. Just do it. And I've just done it. Yeah, you might not grow. Yeah, I guess really, <laughs> I don't, you don't grow, yeah. I guess training for the enjoyment of training more than any result anymore. Yeah. So it's like, I, 
we don't train unless I got something better to do, which is mad. So I'm working in a gym, I'm there already. That makes sense. Yeah. So like for proper natural hypertrophy, what do you need to do? How many days if you really train hard? If you are like on your limit. Depends, right? There's Depends. No like there's minimum, minimum four. Yeah. Probably max six. But but four is like I, I like four is for kiddies. Yeah, like four is like for hobby now, sport. Like. Yeah. It depends on food intake, depends on how well rested you are. It depends on genetics. It depends on how hard you actually Action. take Train. each set. Yeah. Like there's so many fucking variables. Yeah. Too many. All I know is that when I wake up in the morning, every single day, I am sore. Like every day, even on Monday, I'm sore. You know, and it just keeps on going. But it's like a nice, nice song, you know? yeah. Apart from Saturday morning, that's kind of the worst. <laughs> All right, guys, meal number one. Looks like we got some chicken, some mash, some salad, which I accidentally put in the microwave, and some other stuff as well. Um, I don't even know what this is called, I'm just going to have a look now. But it's 2.30 and I am so, so hungry. So, today is grilled chicken chimichurri with salad and potato. Okay, so the chimichurri I put on the salad which I accidentally microwave. So, uh, I kind of messed this one up a little bit. But to be honest, I think it's still going to be good. Um, I don't know what this sauce is on the chicken then. They brought two sauces with it, so maybe it's designed to, to have two sauces. Let's get some chicken in there. I don't have a knife on the floor, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to spoon feed this get a bit of everything. It's good. It's good. Another good meal from them. Calories and macros. 68 protein, 14 fats, 45 carbs for 485 calories. Pretty good.